Now hold up, Ravens. Where's the nepotism at? Hey, how you gonna do Lamar Jackson cousin like that? Anyway, team, keep it clean. What's going on, baby? It's Engraven here with another video. Now, uh, the longer that you follow these Baltimore Ravens for, you will always learn something new when it comes to a rule, when it comes to a loophole in the NFL, because Ravens are always getting creative with stuff. And this was the very first time for as long as we've been following the Ravens for, as long as we've been covering the Ravens for, and as much stuff as we have talked about over the years with this, when it comes to this team, this is the very first time that I've ever heard of this. Now, uh, Jess Rebick reported, the Ravens released cornerback Lamar Jackson cousin Trayvon Mullen for failure to disclose physical condition. Per the transaction wire, Mullen had been on the non-football injury list. He's dealing with a toe injury. So, I gotta assume that this is exactly what it says it is uh, because it says there's a failure to disclose physical condition. So it sounds like, again, y'all let me know if I'm wrong, but it sounds like he had an injury. He didn't report that whatever that injury was to the team and they found out about it and they like, oh, no, nah, you, mm -mm, you got to go, man. You got to go. So it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate too because Trayvon Mullen um, I feel like he was a forgotten man a lot of times when we, whenever we talked about the cornerback situation. But more recently, we were really remembering him more because he had a big opportunity right in front of him. He really did. And a lot of cornerbacks really do. Because, again, Marlon Humphrey, Rocky Singh, after that, who who's it going to be? Is it going to be Kyle Hamilton? Is, are they going to keep him in that sort of nickel role? Or is he going to be more of a drop back traditional safety for the reason they drafted him? What's it going to be? We'll find out soon. But as far as that nickel roll, it, it wasn't a lock. Nobody's been a lock to hold it down. Could it be Brandon Stevens? We'll see. Could it be somebody else? But with, with Pepe Williams being out, uh, and there's another cornerback that was out to, like, th this is such a big opportunity for all the guys who are fighting for that spot and just really fighting for a spot in general. So it's unfortunate what happened with, uh, with, with, with Trayvon Mullen. So I... um. I wonder, like, how the relationship is going to be with the Baltimore Ravens. I wonder what the extent of his toe injury is. And if it's that bad, to could he come back in a couple of weeks or whatnot? Or is the relationship over? I guess we'll see. I mean, he could always put a word in with Lamar. Like, hey, Lamar, tell them boys to bring me back. Because Lamar obviously got some pull when it comes to these Baltimore Ravens. Now, I mean, you see Odell Beckham Jr. Anyway, uh, we also got... Uh, some details and you know shout out to Mark Ingram because he said it's all about the details when the Baltimore Ravens signed Melvin Gordon uh, we knew it was going to be a heavy a heavily incentivized uh, contract we knew that I think yeah, everybody figured that because uh, I think it was like a, a what a one year 3.1 million dollar deal yeah 3.1 million dollar deal um, but we knew that it wasn't going to be no 3.1 million guarantee you know I figured it would be some guaranteed in there but not no 3.1 mil guarantee but Brian McFarlane, Raven Salary Cap on Twitter. I don't know how he gets all the information, but he gets all the information and he breaks it down. Uh, but he let us know the numbers, the detailed numbers of Melvin Gordon's contract. And let's read it. He says, Gordon's one-year deal includes no bonus. So no bonus. You don't hear about that too often these days. But anyway, uh, but it has a fully guaranteed base salary of 1.65 mil, which is also his 2023 cap hit number. So fully guaranteed. That's his. He gets the 1.165 mil. So, sounds like he'll be around. Um, but, yeah, it sounds like he'll be around. But J.K. Dobbins, uh, you got J.K. Dobbins, for now at least. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But you got J.K. Dobbins, you got Gus Edwards, you got Melvin Gordon, you got Justice Hill. So, maybe they, may, maybe they run with four running backs. Maybe they keep four running backs. Um... But then you got to think about maybe again, maybe they're doing it for safe, being safe, like stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready, because uh, J.K. and um, Gustin has some injuries. But then you think about special teams. I don't see no four running backs being active, and when they activate three, like usually someone, somebody gonna be on special teams, right? So you figure that'd be just as heel. So I don't know. Hey, it's it's early, so the Ra Ravens gonna figure it out. They gonna figure it out. It's that's their job, not ours to figure it out. But we had we be trying to figure it out. Y'all already know. And we had fun trying to figure it out. And that's why we always be talking about stuff like trying to figure stuff out with, with, with what the Ravens got going on. But anyway, um, let's get back to the details of the deal. So, Gordon, <laughs> I appreciate y'all so much. 
Because y'all know sometimes we just be talking, man. We just be talking, letting it all out, man. And I appreciate y'all listening so much, man. For real. I love y'all, man. Anyway, Gordon's one year deal includes no bonus, but has a fully guaranteed base salary of 1.165 mil. Uh, the balance of the 3.1 mil is 1.935 mil in NLTBE. What that is, what that stands for, and this again, this came from just going over so much contracts over the years. And NLTBE means not likely to be earned incentives. That's what that stands for. But anyway, uh, the balance of the 3.1 mil is 1.935 mil and not likely to be earned incentives, still unknown, that do not count against the 2023 cap. If earned, those will count as a debit on the 2024 cap. And that's normally how it works. Like, say, for instance, a player has, like Odell Beckham Jr., the, normally the way that the contracts work, like his deal is a one year, $18 million deal, but it's 15 mil guaranteed and three mil of it and three mil of the rest is incentives. Say, for instance, he hit the incentives, got the extra three mil. Normally that does always count against the next year's salary cap. That's usually how it works when it comes to incentives. They won't count this year because think about it. Say, for instance, the player hits the incentives uh, and by the end of the year. I mean, the salary cap's already what the salary cap is. It just goes to next year's salary cap. So, anyway, just a little background of salary cap and stuff. That's not my specialty or nothing like that, but I know some little basic stuff here and there. Again, courtesy of the Ravens, really courtesy of the NFL, too, uh, and just all the contract stuff that we have been. Like, I, I, you know what? I feel like everybody, every single Ravens fan knows about contracts now after what we just went through this offseason. Everybody knows about contract. Everybody knows about the details. Everybody knows about this and that. Everybody's an expert now. Every Ravens fan is an expert now when it comes to contracts. So I know y'all know already. But anyway, Team Keep It Clean, thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. There ain't notifications also. You don't miss nothing. Leave a like on the video so YouTube can t- keep telling y'all about the videos. Because I can tell y'all about the videos all day. But sometimes YouTube, they, they want to keep it a secret. So so they don't keep it a secret from you. Subscribe and turn your notifications on and leave a like on the video. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all are great people. Keep being yourselves. And we out.